my channel, it's Ellie from Elsa's Wholesome Life. Today's vlog is going to be my trip with Spell and we're heading out to Leamington National Park. We are about to leave, uh, but basically we're heading out there for a really fun and exciting event. And most importantly, the event has a really important message and we're gonna be learning some amazing things about climate change because the event is run with the Climate Council who are also a part of 1% for the Planet, which Spell has a huge affiliation with. Um, and they do a lot of work with them, a lot of donating and a lot of work through educating people about different ways that we can try to fight climate change, which is a really important issue here in Australia. We are in the top five countries that are most affected by climate change, so it's very important. And part of us heading out there, I'm actually going with my twin sister Lauren, who is just over here. Hello. And my friend Hayley, who you would have met in my WA vlog. And we're all going out on this trip. And yeah, basically we are learning about all the things they're doing to help fight climate change. And then using this information to educate our audiences about it, which is really important because in this day and age, being environmentally friendly is an important thing. And it's really important for us to relay this information to our audiences um, because we have the power to do that. So I'm going to be taking you guys along with us on the trip to show you guys the fun trip because spell events are always super beautiful. And if you're not familiar with spell, basically they are an Australian brand from Byron Bay, local, and always loved the brand. Um, they make amazing clothing and they're really forward thinking and focused on new environmentally friendly ways to do business, to make clothes more eco-friendly and ethical. And basically they're amazing. You should check them out. Um, but I'm sure you'll see lots of beautiful outfits across this trip because there's going to be lots of them. Um, but anyway, I'll see you guys on the trip. <laughs> Here she comes. <laughs> so we have Hayley joined the entourage. Yes. And, yes. Yes. and we're Ooh. heading out. Is this all we have in this car? Yeah, 23. Oh, yeah. Wild. Girls. <laughs> <laughs> ATG. It's dangerous. All right. When we Road get trip. together. And we have... Oh, I forgot my snack. I had Cobb's pop No, we got inside. snacks. We got little bars. They gave us bars. There's like a few left. And how's oh. packed some chalkies, haven't you? I bet they're chocolate coated oh. something. Oh, they're cherries. Oh, chocolate me and the chocolate coated something. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, I'm going to take you on a little glamping tent tour show you guys where we're staying for the next two nights we're ready to get into this platter they're like all vegan dips and that's cheese and lots of locally made crackers looks phenom but I'll take you guys inside our wonderful glamping tent so this is Hales's bed and there's two baths here look how cute they are they look like little canoes and we have to get hoses from the back to connect and fill up the baths so that'll be fun later on and then Loz and I are set up on this bed and look at the amazing gifts that are lined out for us wow very lucky so many amazing little things and I actually really needed a new hairbrush so I'm very happy about this I'm gonna take you guys around and show you the outfits they have lined out for us because they're so amazing how pretty are all these colors? So I think it's up to Mila and Haley to squabble over these because they're all so beautiful and we're all the same size. Um, and yeah, we have a fire. We've got our own little kitchenette over here, listening to all the nature sounds. I've seen a wallaby before and it's a beautiful location here. Everything's very eco-friendly and very peaceful. So beautiful. Wow, Lauren's just lit the fire. Yep. Bit early, maybe. No, I'm cold. What if we run out of wood? No, we have so much. Oh, sorry. And that's how you do it, girls. Well done. You didn't actually teach me, though. You just did it. I'll, I'll teach us next time. Anyway, my skill, my special treat, ladies. <laughs> the girls are ready to head down for our dinner, and it's actually cocktail, cocktail hour. Hours. So I'm very and excited look, to have just, one. Just Look back at the hut. See, that's signs of success that I made a fire. Lauren's pretty proud about her fire, but I will say, all it's doing is smoking. There is not much flame happening.
Oh, good morning. It's 6.30 a.m. It was very cold last night and Loz is getting the fire going for us this morning. But we had a really nice night of having pizzas and cocktails and wine and desserts that they made around the fire and there was marshmallows. Um, yeah, it was a really nice night. Learning all about climate change, of course. Having some really interesting conversations around the issue. Ooh, steam. So we just got ready for the day and this is my outfit. It's a cute little blouse, pants and boots and this hat. Hi Oz. This beautiful white dress. Gorge. Gorgeous. I've got. And Loz. Leopard dress. This is actually a dress. And she styled it with a T. And then I've also got an old spell jacket over the top. Wow bringing back Girl, show me your baskets. It's not really a basket. It's not finished yet. But your artworks. This what it'll turn into like this. Oh, Haley, you actually could have made one. Why didn't? Yeah. Why did you give up? Yeah, that was actually that could have been really in, good. In case none of Everyone you made some really oh. beautiful pieces aside from myself. Wait, show yours. <laughs> no, don't. Oh, this is mine. This is stunning. <laughs> wow. It looks like a nest. Care, but I'm gonna say. <laughs> Food is absolutely amazing. This is our lunch of like rainbow salads. This is like a wild rice salad, carrot salad, beetroot salad, and we're all sitting by the river. So beautiful. So we've changed into our new Spell Active Wear. Super cute, get your crops out ladies. Woo! And we're all going on a bush creek walk. So all get up to take in the beautiful surrounds. And then we have a couple of activities this afternoon. So I just made my own body scrub and it is one of the signature nightfall blends. It smells absolutely amazing and I'm going to go test it out on my hands. How do we yeah. feel? Silky smooth? So Look at smooth. that. Ten years I love younger. oily scrubs. Yeah. We're going to have a lovely bath sesh tonight. Yeah, we are going to scrub up.
Good morning guys, final day here out at nightfall and we're just having a breakfast and packing up for the day before we head back home. I'm having a really bad hair day actually. Um, but yeah, last night we had a really, really amazing night of dinner and chats and then we all went and sat by the fire and had some really great chats about climate change and the things that we've learned from this trip and things that we want to change going forward in our own lives and it was just such a beautiful circle of women and a beautiful space to feel comfortable and not judged to admit your own vulnerabilities and your own things that you want to work on yourself and everyone was super supportive of each other and everyone's own ideas and yeah it was just a really really amazing evening um, and following on from that we all had a silent night walk where we all had to go in silence down to the river and just sit with each other and look out into the sky for about half an hour they came around gave us all a drink which we all sipped and then walked back and took our silent cover off and that was just really like a really special way to end the evening so guys at the end of my last scenes that I filmed at the retreat I explained that I wanted to have a couple of days to reflect on the things that I learnt um, the take-home messages and things that I want to work to improve on in my own life um, at the conclusion of the Climate Council retreat I learned some really fascinating things, I felt really inspired and most importantly I felt really comfortable and safe in that environment to admit the things that I could be doing better and to take advice from people on those things as well. So I want to share with you guys some of the things that I'm going to be changing and in hopes that maybe you guys can change some of those things too because it might be things that you had never considered or didn't realise. Um, and also please feel free to leave any comments below for any other suggestions or things that you are personally working on or things that you would like to work on. I'd like to create a space where we can all just comfortably talk about these issues without feeling like we're being judged or like that we're going to get criticised for every wrongdoing that we do because at the end of the day none of us are perfect. We are all on a journey to becoming better people and learning more about the climate crisis and things that we can do. So we want to support each other and build a space where we can all feel comfortable to work together to build a healthier and happier planet. So some of the things that I'm going to be changing going forward. Obviously, I do a lot of work in travel, so I cannot completely avoid traveling overseas. But going forward, I think I will definitely be traveling less. I'm pretty happy and comfortable in my home in Australia, so I think going forward we did already plan not to travel quite so much as we have the last few years because we were working on a pretty big project which was travel related and you guys will find out about that shortly. Um, so yeah basically I'm going to be traveling less and when I do travel I will be offsetting my tickets. This was something that I didn't understand what it meant and it was one of those questions I felt a bit silly to ask because I'd never done the offsetting of my tickets. But basically it means if you offset your flight ticket, that airline is then going to donate money that you pay for the offsetting into doing something that's going to have an opposite action. So basically if you're flying in a plane, it's probably going to be burning lots of fuel and in return they will pay for trees to be planted which will draw the carbon dioxide back in. The next thing I'm going to work to improve is being more conscious about where my food comes from, how far it's traveled and what it's wrapped in or packaged in. So obviously since I do follow a plant-based diet this in itself is more environmentally friendly. However, there are more things that I can be doing and I don't want to just get stuck in a bubble of thinking I'm doing enough just by following a plant-based diet. So I'm going to be looking at where my ingredients come from, shopping locally from farmers markets, buying seasonal produce and trying to shop as plastic free as possible. Another thing that I would like to change going forward is my super fund. This is a new thing that I learned on our retreat from some of the experts in the field that a lot of super funds actually use the money that you put into your super fund to invest into non-renewable sources or coal. 
there are a couple of super funds within Australia that I'm aware of that do not invest in these and that only invest into renewable energy sources and that is Future Super and Australian Ethical. So I am going to be looking into both those companies and I think I'll be doing a swap to put my money into those two companies. The next thing that I'm going to be doing is looking into getting some solar panels installed into my home. I recently bought a home in Australia so I do have the ability to install these into my home. I think in the long run they will save us not only money but also help the environment and also add value to our home so I'm going to be researching that. Um, another thing that I want to look to do is stop supporting fast fashion. Personally I don't purchase from fast fashion brands often, very rarely, um, but I'm just going to be much more conscious about the brands that I do support and also continue doing things such as reselling old clothing, maybe buying more from thrift stores um, and just generally consuming less. So accepting less gifting as an influencer, this can be a difficult task, but just saying no to the things that I genuinely don't need. Um, and yeah, selling things that I'm no longer using to someone else who will get more use out of them rather than them going and buying the product brand new. And lastly, I'm going to continue to further my knowledge because it is a constant learning journey and there's always more to know about. Um, so watching documentaries, I really want to see this new one out called 2040. Reading articles and listening to podcasts in the area, I'll try to find some great sources for you guys and link them down in the description so you guys can learn too. And also not being afraid of using my influence to educate others about it. For a long time, I have felt pretty afraid to put myself into that box or that area because of the criticism and the negative feedback that I would get for every wrong thing I do. But I know I'm not perfect, no one's going to be perfect and I can still talk about the issue and use my influence for the good. So yeah, I hope you have enjoyed watching and coming along on this retreat with me and maybe learnt a few things. It's a really important topic and something that we should all be talking about, not just as influencers but within our own communities, how big or small that is, it doesn't really matter. Every little small difference we make will make a difference in the long run. Thanks for watching guys!